Hey, what's up, people? What's up, Baked here? And uh, as you can see, uh, I have finished upgrading and rebuilding the Sunfire with all the parts that I got. And some parts I had to buy extra, too. So uh, I'm going to go through all the parts and stuff, and hopefully I'll have a running video coming out very shortly. Uh, um, so first of all, I took off this body. This body is one I found in the garage. As you can see, I added in some uh, <clears throat> drywall tape right there to make it look kind of like have a, have a scale look, I guess. So I found it in the garage, and I uh, do not know where that came from. So uh, I guess you can call it custom. So the next thing I have, um, I want to talk about are the wheels and tires. So these wheels and tires are short course wheels and tires because that's what my hobby store has. They didn't have any... Uh, wheels with the right offset that would fit the uh that would fit this it, this is actually so uh um i went in uh got some short course wheels and tires they fit right on had to do some slight modification to the hubs to get them to get the uh these wheels to fit on with these spokes in the back they kind of rubbed against the hubs a bit so i had to do some modifications to that but all in all, it turned out really good. I got Proline Badlands on, yeah, I think it's Desperado. Actually, no, it's F11 wheels. So, uh, I don't remember, but some kind of Proline wheels. And the tires, I got Proline Badlands. The short course, the 2.2 inch with the larger, the 3 point, the three inch uh, diamond on the uh, inside and the 2.2 on the outside. I think that's what it is. Um, trenchers on the rear. So, it looks uh, sick. It's pretty bad, uh, fill in the blank. Um, so, yeah. And, uh, the next thing I want to talk about is this, uh, I'm going to keep it brushed. I kept it brushed just because that's what I had. Well, that's not what I had. I had, a, I had the XL5 ESC, and I wanted to keep it brushed without upgrading to brushless because I didn't have, I had a kind of a budget. Just got out of my debt to my parents, so, uh. Uh, yeah, so uh, I had this, I have this, uh, I went and got a Titan, new Titan 12 turner and put the, put a heat sink on it. The receiver and the radio, uh, I'm going to make another order to Nitro RCX, uh, very shortly, so I might order a receiver if I have enough money. As you can see, it snowed out, so I had to shovel all that stuff for some money. And anyways, so I may be able to order, make, earn some more money and get some, uh, get a receiver for the fly sky anyways so that's the receiver and the uh the servo i have is the stock servo it's pretty crap um a lot of people say these trucks come with crap servos and they do very very slow i turn this it goes so yeah very very slow not too much torque either i have to say more torque than speed so probably better suited for something like that but i have a good servo in there um the one that i ordered from Nitro rcx that seems to be holding up pretty well so uh what else uh the shocks the front are the stock way they came out because i thought they felt really good these actually have oil in them surprisingly the um the ones that i have the ones that i fill i, I had to fill these up actually they're only like maybe 40 percent filled but these have some really good oil in them and they're not going to go anywhere too so anyways i mean the pistons in there are like this, they have slots on the side, but that's pretty good. That's a pretty good setup right there. On the rear, I have a very stiff setup. Not very stiff, but a very, uh, 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 not plush like this. So, not like a monster truck like that, but just for, specifically for this landing huge jumps, even though I will not be landing jumps with this one or any of my exceeds because that's how they break. So, uh, I've got the aluminum shops that came with the Rally Monster on the back and the springs. Those are Traxxas blue stripes, I think. Yeah, that's blue. And uh, I don't know where that wing came from, but it's not the stock one. So that's what I've been doing. So hopefully I can get uh, already ran it once at the back gate. Probably have a video of that coming out in a few days, maybe a few minutes, actually. Because I just finished editing that before I started filming this video. So this video is going to come out first. Then the one about the about driving this. The tires are all dirty and stuff. It goes pretty muddy. So I, I want to get out 
and film a video today with one of the cars that I have. Well, one of my cars. But uh, as you can see, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I won't. It's a little too wet on the ground. So, um, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. And anyways, so that wraps up this video. Yeah, it does wrap up. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.